Hi guys, Lady Survival here. So today I wanted to make a video talking about the Burning Crusade, the release date, anything like paid in-game services and bundles and all that kind of stuff and just my thoughts overall on everything because as a lot of you know I'm a big World of Warcraft fanatic but specifically I love Classic WoW. Um, when Classic WoW came out that was such a big thing for me and I've been enjoying Classic a lot more than Retail. And also the Burning Crusade was my favorite expansion to ever come out so I have definitely been been highly anticipating this and I definitely have some thoughts about everything mostly with the release date. So the Burning Crusade was announced I think a week or two ago to come out on June 1st uh, which to me was way too sudden. I think that that was a very like panic decision. Um, it's definitely not enough time for a pre-patch. It's so just like out of nowhere. Like anyone who thought that they might still have more time to get caught up if they're not 60 or if they're still leveling alts or just, you know, kind of getting ready, farming gold, anything like that. It's like definitely very sudden. Um, also in my personal life, and I understand that my own personal experience is kind of biased all things considered, but I am in the middle of basically moving to the United States from Canada. I am going to be doing an interview to get my K-1 visa to move and be with my fiance and that's happening uh, within the next couple weeks. I'm not going to say exactly when, but basically I was literally planning to be moving in the first week of June. And now it's like, great, the Burning Crusade is coming out on June 1st and I'm definitely going to want to play that. Um, and it just really sucks because the Burning Crusade was my favorite expansion ever and I have been highly anticipating the release of Burning Crusade and like a year ago when, when my fiance and I were kind of like, oh, like we can't wait for it to come out. Like I wonder when it's going to happen. Like we definitely pictured it as like some really big grand event with any WoW expansion that comes out. Like I usually will always take off a week from work and like buy a lot of snacks and energy drinks and it's like a whole thing and I play for like 18 hours a day and it's just like my whole life will revolve around said expansion coming out. That definitely sucks that just for me personally that I'm basically in the middle of a very stressful time where I'm trying to move and like pack up my room and I just am not going to be in the mental mind space to really enjoy the Burning Crusade and also just I'm not really going to have enough time to do that because I need to pack. So for me personally that's just really bad timing and also my fiance we're really hoping that we would get to experience the Burning Crusade together in person because for us, the release of Classic WoW was such an amazing thing and we got to experience that while we were long distance, of course, and actually we hadn't even met in person yet when Classic came out. Since Classic has been out, we've really been looking forward to the Burning Crusade and we had our fingers crossed that we would be living together by then. Also, the visa process has taken a lot longer than we expected and if it weren't for COVID and Donald Trump putting like stops to immigration and whatnot, we definitely would be together for that. So so that's a little disappointing and I know that's really biased to myself but just in general I feel like a lot of people agree that they made the decision of June 1st like very suddenly I was not expecting that at all I was hoping like at least in the fall maybe or maybe at least July or something I understand that they don't want it to conflict with whenever 9.1 is coming out but I just I hate it like, I hate the fact that it seems like they specifically rushed it to avoid conflict with 9.1 and me personally, I mean, I wouldn't really care if we had to wait till like after 9.1 for the Burning Crusade. I understand other people are probably itching to start playing it. So that's basically my thoughts on the release. I think it was really stupid and I wish that we had more time and I hate that I'm dealing with stress and moving in my life right now. The next thing I want to talk about is like the things that you can buy for Burning Crusade, like the in-game transaction type stuff with like mounts and like getting prepared for Burning Crusade. Um, Personally, I definitely wish that they would have left that stuff out. I really just want Burning Crusade to be Burning Crusade as it was back in the day. So I'm a little disappointed that they're adding the new mount, um, which is really cool. I really do like how it looks and I wouldn't mind having that in retail as well. But at the same time, I definitely feel like they should not have had that as a thing. And as far as boosting goes, I think that it's ridiculous that you can get a paid boost. I hate boosting so much. Both my fiance and I are like extremely against it. We get into like a lot of uh, arguments in like trade chat or guild chat or LFG chat or anything when it comes to like mages 
boosting. I hate that that's a thing. I wish that it was like a bannable offense. But World of Warcraft is something where you should definitely level up yourself and do the grind yourself. And overall, you're going to enjoy the game more that way instead of paying your way to the top because then you'll just kind of burn out quicker. It's just kind of silly to race to the end game and then you get geared out super quick and then you're like, wow, I have nothing else to do. I'm bored of the game. Why is this game so boring? And it's like, well, if you did the journey yourself, uh, I don't think that that would be the case. I've never had an issue. I've heard a lot of people say stuff like, yeah, but after you've leveled like two or three times through all the content, you don't want to do it again. And it's like, dude, I have done it like 10 times and I'm not bored of it. So I don't know if that's just a me thing, but I personally think that boosting should not be a thing at all, even just in-game with mages, but specifically buying a paid boost is not good in my eyes. I don't think that that should be a thing at all. And then the next thing I want to talk about, because I think a lot of people don't really understand this and get confused about like whether they have to pay for the Burning Crusade or not, and you do not have to. It works the same way as Classic did in the sense that if you have a World of Warcraft account and active subscription, you can play both retail and classic WoW. Um, so Burning Crusade is the same, um, so when it does come out, you don't have to pay anything, it's just the same, it's just your subscription and you'll be able to do both, but the only thing that you have to pay for is if you want to clone your character. So for example, say me for example, I have uh, my level 60 Night Elf Hunter is what I would consider my main, I do have a couple 60s, but Say if I wanted to keep her on a classic only server, but also bring her through Burning Crusade, um, I think it was a $35 fee, but they recently, I think today or yesterday, announced that they made the price only $15, um, but I would essentially have to pay $15 to make a copy of my Night Elf Hunter to stay on a classic only server experience and then to also continue on to Burning Crusade. But if you just want to go ahead and continue on to Burning Crusade, you don't have to pay anything, you can just go ahead and level up your characters as normal. But yeah, of course, to my understanding, it is $15 per character that you would like to make a copy of, so that could get a little costly if you did want to have multiple characters on both versions, um, but personally I'm not going to do that with any of mine, I'm just going to be going forward to the Burning Crusade, and I definitely think it was a good thing that they lowered the price to $15 because $35 was a little bit high and I don't think that anyone would really be down to pay that unless you make a ridiculous amount of money because that's more than a WoW subscription and it's like your character already exists and like it just that was a little bit ridiculous so $15 is a little bit more reasonable even though technically I think it should be free but I understand that they want to make some extra money and they know that people will be willing to pay it so why not. Next thing I want to talk about is kind of the like bundle things that you can buy um, so you can get the one that has a mount uh, for classic. Also you get another version of that mount that's like up to date with like retail wow so you'll have the mount in classic and in retail um, which I think they are really really cool mount. Uh, the warp stalker is super cool and one of my favorite like beasts from the burning crusade so that's pretty cool that you'll be able to ride that. Personally as much as it is a really cool mount I don't think that they should have added that to burning crusade. I think that they should have just left the Burning Crusade as is, as it was back in the day, with without store mounts being a thing at all. And I don't like it, and I'm going to be very uh, slightly triggered seeing people running around on their store-bought mounts in Burning Crusade. I don't think that that's a good thing. The other thing I'd like to address with boosting, there's a lot of people I think that are mad that you can't boost Draenei or Blood Elf, and I think that that is a good thing that you cannot because they are a new race being added and I think that everyone should experience their starting zones. Um, I understand if you've already played the Burning Crusade before and leveled Blood Elves before and Draenei, but there's a lot of new people who haven't and I don't think it would be good to skip over their starting zone. I think that you should have that background um, and just fairly have to, everyone should have to level up new Blood Elves and Draenei. I think that that's just part of the Burning Crusade experience and I personally am going to be leveling a Blood Elf. My fiance and I are both going to do Blood Elf Paladins because why not? That's pretty iconic. Yeah, that is basically my thoughts with the Burning Crusade. Overall, as a recap, I think that they are releasing it way too soon. I wish that we had more time, more time for a pre-patch, more notice in general. I don't like that they've added any store purchases, mounts, and boosts, and all that, and I don't mind having to level up Draenei and Blood Elf from level 1. I think that that's a very good thing, and if I could change anything, I wish that 
it would just be the Burning Crusade as the Burning Crusade was back in the day. I would even maybe personally take away the whole cloning thing where you can stay on Classic or proceed to Burning Crusade, but I understand that there's people who definitely, now that Classic has come out and become a thing again, they definitely just want to stay there, so I get that, and it's probably good that they're taking advantage of like pleasing everyone, but Personally, I just wish it was all recreated exactly as it was back in the day. I hope that you guys liked my video and maybe agree with me on a lot of my points. If you don't, I would love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments. Are you going to be playing Burning Crusade? Are you excited? Do you think it was too soon? Who are you going to main? Are you making a Blood Elf or a Draenei? I would like to know everything down below in terms of your uh, planned experience for the Burning Crusade. And thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye!